What up, it's Jimmy. This is a clip from our big NCAA basketball show. To check out the entire show, hit the link at the bottom of the screen. It's available exclusively on odds.com. We start bright and early, 11 a.m. Eastern, America East final. UMass Lowell River Hawks, 11 and 11, 7 and 8 in conference versus Hartford Hawks, 14 and 8, 8 and 6 in conference. Upsets by both of these to get here. Chase Arena in West Hartford, Connecticut. We have. Hartford opening up as two and a half point favorites. That has moved to two. And we have a total that opened up at 136 and is now 135 and a half or 135. UMass Lowell and Hartford split a two game series early in the season at UMass. UMass Lowell comes in after defeating the top seed UMBC Retriever 79 77 last Saturday. So both these teams have been off for a week. In the semis, UMass Lowell were five and a half point underdogs. It was their third straight win. Connor Withers scored a career high 28 points. He went nine of 13 from three. The six, seven sophomore is the second leading scorer, averaging 11 and a half points, 5.9 boards. Leading scorer, senior Obadiah Noel, added two, uh, 22 points. He's averaging 20.6, 4.3 boards, 3.2 assists on the season. They're the only two players who average over 7.6 points per game for the squad. This team does, though, shoot the ball well. 46% from the field, 35.8% from three, but they struggle from the line, hitting just 65.8%. Hartford finished the regular season winning three straight, carried that over by beating Vermont on the road as nine-and-a-half-point dogs. They shot the lights out. 62.8% from the field, 44.8% from three. Leading scorer Austin Williams went for 25, nine of 12, four of six from three. Added nine boards. He's averaging 13.6, 6.1 on the season. Tracy Carter added 22. He's averaging 11.4 on the season. The other player averaging double digits, six foot ten, Miroslav Stoffel out of the Czech Republic, averaging 10.4 points, 5.5 boards. Uh, Hartford averages 66 points per game, hit 43.7 from the field, 33.2 from three, and 70.3 from the line. An outlier performance from them, shooting wise, Max. I know you know this Hartford team inside and out, as they're very close to your UConn Huskies, and they played against each other this year, and we've capped games with them involved. Max, the America East final, UMass Lowell, Hartford Hawks. Jim, when I look at this Hartford team, I'm like, yeah, yeah. You know what they do? They eat cupcakes, and they're going to eat some cupcakes, courtesy of UMass Lowell. With the Riverhawks, I think that Obidon Noel getting healthy at the end of the season was exactly what the doctor ordered. This is a team that had to learn how to play without him. And guys like Connor Withers, like you said, Salif Booty, Bryce Daly, even a guy like Khalil Thomas were able to step up and be able to contribute for this UMass Lowell team. I think that they're a team that is very capable of having an outlier performer on any given game. And I think that this is a group that is going to be able to fight hard. In both those games that these guys have played, the winner has won the game by margin. So I do expect free throws at the end of the game. So if you're looking for an under, which this both these games stayed under at a similar number, I would definitely caution that. I think that with Hartford, I'm not going to say that I'm expecting Tracy Williams, excuse me, Tracy Carter and Austin Williams to give you 40 plus points again. I think that you're going to really need your front court to give you something. And that's where I have a little bit of trust issues. When I watch Miroslav Staffel, when I watch this guy perform, you know, he has all the freaking tools that you need. He can get on the offensive glass, he can freaking draw a couple fouls, and he can convert down in the interior, but putting it together on a regular basis for the sophomore has been difficult. I think that with Hunter Marks, his three-point shooting has been cold all year, yet he continuously still hoists them up. Aside from Tracy Carter, he's put up the most threes, and that's a problem, you know? When you're six foot ten and you're able to hit that three, then yeah. But if you can't do it consistently, then you need to go inside, get to the free throw line. And that's another conundrum right there. With Hartford, you definitely have some guys that make free throws and their percentages look good. 
but there have been some timely misses at end of game. I think that with Hartford, they're going to have to win this game defensively. That's where they shine. They shine at making you take difficult shots. They shine at taking the ball away from you in the half court. And with their defensive efficiency numbers, you know, they they outdo UMass Lowell in every spot. On a point per possession, on a offensive rebound per possession, I think that this is where I like Hartford that much more. I think that Hartford's going to be able to lock down the three-point line. They're going to be able to convert just enough free throws, and they're going to avoid some of the silly mistakes. When Hartford wins games, they get out to good starts. I think they're going to get out to a great start, and they're going for a tournament bid, and they are not going to allow UMass Lowell to come in and steal it. So I'm taking Hartford, and I'll take them at the best number you can give me, Jim. Well, let's find out what that is. We have minus 2 at minus 110 available at FanDuel, the same at FoxBet. Let's see what BetMGM can offer us, uh, two and a half. And that is the best we can do. Minus two, minus 110 available at FanDuel. And that gets Max's card started. Hartford Hawks, minus two, minus 110. And a berth in the NCAA tourney on the line. That game pops off at 11 a.m. Eastern.